There are so many stories about humans being horrible to animals through acts like deforestation and overfishing. And while sure, we're doing a lot of unintentional harm, we're also known for our kind acts from time to time. From the rescue of a stranded octopus to the yearly visits of a saved penguin, here are 20 times humans rescued animals and got thanked in the cutest way. Number 20. Man Saves Baby Flying Squirrel Jeff Longo from Florida was walking home when he spotted something on the sidewalk. He found a bizarre creature dying in the sun, but never expected it'd grow into this. At first, it was unrecognizable. Was it a mouse? Was it a rat? Just what was it? He didn't know, his friends didn't know, and even the internet he consulted for advice wasn't entirely sure. But it didn't really matter to Jeff. It was an animal in need that had been dying in the scorching hot Florida sun, and he was gonna do everything in his power to keep it alive. The blind, hairless creature had razor-sharp claws, and he had no idea what he was gonna do to actually keep it alive. But he decided to mix puppy formula and cream and feed it from a bottle. That seemed to do the trick, as the creature grew fur and whiskers and grew bigger each day. Jeff called it Biscuit, but he still didn't know what it was. It did look a bit like a rodent. Maybe a gerbil? A prairie dog? A guinea pig? By this point, the now gray animal had made itself at home with Jeff and even had a loving relationship with Jeff dog. Around this time, Jeff wondered if his new friend was a squirrel, but realized it wasn't just any squirrel. The extra skin around its armpits told him that it was a southern flying squirrel. Biscuit is now an integral part of Jeff's family and is living its flying squirrel life to the fullest. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Condor Hugs Man Who Saved Its Life Blancopoe, Argentina man Edgardo found something unusual in his patio area. It was a tiny condor chick with a broken leg, and it appears that it had lost contact with its family. Being the kind, animal-loving cattle rancher he was, Edgardo took it upon himself to save the chick's life. He nicknamed him Condorito with inspiration from a famous comic strip, and he brought the chick back to full health in the popular condor area around his property. Condorito thrived, and it was clear he was thankful to Edgardo by the way he would nestle his head in his arms, unfold his wings for a hug, and even encourage Edgardo to rub his neck. The solid friendship was evident, but Edgardo's goal was always to get the condor strong enough for it to be released into the wild. So anytime an animal would die on his property, he'd leave it for Condorito to find. It was Edgardo's way of setting him up for scavenging in the wild. According to Edgardo, a zoo contacted him to take him into their care, but he he declined. He said the condor was born and raised in Lancapue, and it was his natural habitat. He didn't agree with the intervention and believed the condor would thrive in the natural environment around his home. Number 18. A Hippo Rescued at a Week Old Emma the hippo was just one week old when rescuers from the Care for Wild Africa Sanctuary in Gauteng, South Africa saved her from certain death. She was trapped in a dam's drainage system, and it was likely she would never have been able to get out on her own. Her family was also nowhere in sight. So the wildlife specialist stepped in and took Emma into the sanctuary for treatment. Here, she thrived and became a friendly, strong, and healthy hippo that allowed her favorite rescuers to hug her. Now that Emma's a little older, she even acts as a surrogate sister for Molly, another baby hippo in the sanctuary's care that required their help. The sanctuary is no stranger to life-saving measures. The nonprofit organization Care for Wild Africa is the world's largest rhino orphanage and has the critical task of rescuing, caring for, and rehabilitating injured and orphaned wildlife. Emma has grown so much since her rescue that she's barely recognizable, but you can certainly see a lot of love shared between her and the man who rescued her. Number 17. Rescued Kangaroo Can't Stop Hugging 
Kangaroos are a common wild animal in Australia. According to the Australian Department of Agriculture, about 50 million of them call the country home. While most of those 50 million roos are wild, many have been hand-reared due to being injured, orphaned, or abandoned. Abby is one such roo. Abby was raised from a joey at the Kangaroo Sanctuary in Alice Springs. At just five months old, she was an orphan and arrived at the sanctuary covered in cuts and scrapes. As of 2013, she was a healthy, happy, seven-year-old kangaroo who was the only one who would rush up to Chris Barnes, nicknamed Brolga, at the sanctuary and give him a rugby tackle-like cuddle. Brolga says Abby is light in color compared to other roos, and he thinks she's beautiful. Brolga established the Baby Kangaroo Rescue Center in Alice Springs in 2005 and from there built the Kangaroo Sanctuary. The sanctuary is now 188 acres and is a safe home for rescued, orphaned baby and adult kangaroos. In that time, it has grown from strength to strength. In 2013, the BBC UK and National Geographic USA created a documentary on them called Kangaroo Dundee, when they were able to build Central Australia's first Kangaroo Rescue Center in 2015. Number 16. Friendly Fox Becomes Household Pet While some people might call foxes in the UK pests, they aren't actually classed as pests there. Instead, they are wild animals, and the councils have no power to eradicate them from private or other land. This was good news for Mr. Trowler, who found one outside a hairdresser shop in Kent, England. According to Mr. Trowler, the fox had been badly injured in a fight with a dog and was also suffering from toxoplasmosis. This affects foxes' memories and makes them incapable of surviving in the wild on their own. So Mr. Trowler did the only thing he could. He took the fox home, nursed it back to health, and started gaining its trust. It took some time and effort, but the fox you see with Mr. Trowler now is nothing like the one he rescued. He named him Cropper, and he's more dog than fox. He follows Mr. Trowler around, trots at his heels on their daily walks, and even walks on a leash in townships. According to Mr. Trowler, many people view foxes with suspicion, but he believes Cropper can help change this mindset. He thinks their unique relationship was built on trust and patience over time. Number 15. Released Stranded Octopus Thanks Rescuer Pei Yan Heng was at the Cyrene Reef in Singapore when he noticed a stranded octopus. It had gotten itself stuck on the sand as the tide went out in shallow water and didn't appear able to get itself back into the safety of the water. So Pei did what any decent person not afraid of sea creatures would do. He scooped it into a container and released it into the water. It sat still for a long time, seemingly recovering from its ordeal, but it didn't immediately leave the area once it gathered its bearings. Instead, the octopus came up to the man and placed one of its tentacles on the man's left booty. Pei believes it did that to thank the man for his good deed. Sure, it could have been a coincidence, but we're seeing more and more evidence that these creatures in the wild are much more intelligent than we give them credit for. In experiments, they've completed tricky tasks with the goal of receiving food, such as solving mazes. They can also open jars from the inside out, defend themselves with rocks, take apart the plumbing of tanks, and jump on land to ambush prey. Number 14. Sloth thanks man for helping. Sloths are incredibly slow animals, and this doesn't really help their population numbers. Scientists think there are only up to 1,500 individuals in the world. If you were to save the life of just one, you might just save dozens in that one sloth's family lineage. When animal lover Jose Aldonizio saw a very slow sloth trying to cross a very busy road in Angra dos Reis, Rio de Janeiro, he knew he had to step in. Otherwise, the sloth might not make it across safely, and we all know how slowly they move. So he approached the sloth, lifted it up under its arms, and carried it to the other side of the road. But rather than dump it in the grass, he decided to help the sloth even further by holding it up to a tree trunk. The sloth grabbed hold of the limb and Jose waved goodbye to the sloth. What he didn't expect, though, was for the sloth to wave back. While it had one arm clinging to the tree, it used its other arm to perform a very human-like gesture. It might have been a fluke, but it was adorable all the same. Number 13. Squirrel visits human mom who saved her. 
If you visit the home of Brantley and John Harrison in Greer, South Carolina, you might notice a bowl full of nuts on their porch. This isn't for them to snack on as they sit outside. Instead, it's a bowl they refill daily for a gray squirrel called Bella. The Harrison family rescued Bella eight years earlier, and she's been visiting them almost every day since. An owl had attacked Bella, and the Harrisons rehabilitated and released her alongside three others called Mo, Larry, and Curly. According to Brantley, they never saw her as a pet and never treated her differently from the other squirrels, but she quickly became part of the family. She chose them as her family, and anytime they see her around the neighborhood, they whistle, call her name, and she comes running. She'll wait by their door for someone to notice her, and if they don't see her, she'll jump up onto the dining room window to look inside. When she gets her wish, she'll sit on their laps, eat nuts, and venture back to a tree she claimed for her nest in the cul-de-sac. When they released her all those years ago, they always assumed they would never see her again. While the other three squirrels returned for a couple of nights, they eventually took off permanently. Bella was undoubtedly different. Number 12. Injured Swan Hugs Savior Swans aren't exactly known for their affection. In fact, one man even drowned after being attacked by a swan that wouldn't let him return to shore. But not all swans are vicious killers. Born to explore TV show host Richard Weiss was visiting the Abbotsbury Swannery in the UK when he noticed a swan injured after it had flown into a chain-link fence. He held her so that she could be examined. According to Richard, when he held the swan next to him, he could feel its heart beating and it relaxed its neck into him before wrapping it around his own neck. Richard said the bond and mutual trust with a non-verbally communicating animal was a terrific feeling, especially when the animal realizes that you intend no harm. Richard had only intended to make the swan feel comfortable enough to transport, but there was always a chance it was going to recoil or attack out of fear. He ended up with an unforgettable swan hug. Although, let's face it, this could have gone either way. Take a walk to your local water attractions with swan populations, and you'll see your fair share of territorial and very unfriendly birds. Number 11. Golden Retrievers Thank Rescuers Golden Retrievers are intelligent dogs, but they can end up in some predicaments, not usually of their own making. For example, firefighters were called to a sinkhole where a Golden Retriever who had been missing for a full day was found. The Streeter Fire Department from Illinois visited Marilla Park after another dog alerted his owner to a dog trapped five feet below the snow-covered ground. Macy, the retriever, wasn't able to climb out of the sinkhole on a ladder they put into the hole, so a team secured webbing around her to pull her out. It was a challenging situation, since rescuers noticed the ground breaking around them, potentially widening the sinkhole. Fortunately, Macy was pulled to safety and reunited with her owner. A retriever in the Anhui province of China also also ended up in a sticky situation. The dog had been stuck at the bottom of a dry 10-foot well after it fell in during a walk with its owner. When the fireman rescued the mud-covered and tired dog, it hugged him and started rolling around to express its happiness and thanks. I love a happy ending. Number 10. Penguin Visits Rescuer Yearly in 2011, retired man and part-time fisherman Joao Pereira de Souza from a small village in Brazil found a tiny Magellanic penguin lying on rocks on a local beach. It was clear that the penguin was on its last legs, especially as it was covered in oil. So Joao did what any decent human would do. He scooped the penguin up in his arms, took him home, and cared for him. He started by cleaning the oil off the penguin and feeding it a daily diet of fish to help it rebuild its strength. He even gave it a name, Din Din. When he felt that the penguin was strong enough to go back into the wild, he released it. However, the penguin had other ideas. It formed a bond with Joao and wouldn't leave. For almost a year, the penguin stayed with Joao, even though it was free to leave at any time. Then, just as its coat changed, it disappeared. It then returned a few months later, spotted Joao fishing, and followed him home to stay with him for the rest of the year. For the last five years, the penguin has continued a similar pattern. It'll spend about eight months of the year with Joao before leaving for the remaining time to breed around Argentina and Chile. Number 9. Elk Kisses Firefighters Putting Out Wildfire Kittitas County Fire District firefighters were fighting a blaze in the woods when they noticed a huge elk approaching them. You'd naturally be nervous, especially as they didn't know what the elk's intentions were. But the elk's intentions were made clear soon enough. 
As it approached the firefighters, it gave them big kisses and hugged them. It was almost like the elk was thanking them for putting out the fire in its home. It went from one firefighter and officer to the next, giving rounds of kisses to everyone. Well, let me tell you, elks aren't usually this friendly, especially to strangers, but this elk is an exception to the rule. According to reports, it's a local celebrity who seeks out attention when people are around. Locals have called the elk Buttons, and she apparently lost her family when she was just a few weeks old. When that happened, local farmers rescued and raised her, and she grew up around people, cows, horses, and other farm animals. She became quite attached to humans, clearly recognizing that they were helpers. So when she spotted the firefighters doing what they do best, she had no fear and went right up to them for attention. Number 8. Gru Holds Man's Hand After Watery Rescue with 50 million kangaroos in Australia, you can guarantee that at least one will come into a spot of bother that requires intervention. That happened in Canberra when three men saw a roo standing in Lake Burley Griffin. The water was icy cold and the kangaroo was clearly unable to get itself out of its predicament, so the men stepped in to help. They braved the cold water and the risk of a kangaroo attack to save its life. Two men waded into the water and slowly approached the kangaroo. It was initially frightened, but eventually it let them carry it out of the water and onto dry land. Once on the ground, it used the third man as a form of support while it calmed itself down. According to one of the men who shared the footage on a local community group page, the kangaroo came right after its ordeal. Although you can't help but think about all the things that could go wrong. Kangaroos can disembowel you with a single kick to the stomach, and those men definitely put themselves in the firing line. Fortunately, the roo was likely too cold and traumatized to have murder on its mind in that moment. Number 7. Baby Dolphin Jumps to Thank Rescuers there are over 5 trillion pieces of plastic in our ocean, or around 46,000 pieces for every square mile of ocean. Each day, around 8 million more pieces add to the growing problem. Sure, the plastic is an eyesore, but it's also extremely dangerous for our wildlife. They can eat it, get caught up in it, and die in it. Although one dolphin did live to fight another day after two friends out on the sea in their boat saw it tangled up in a plastic bag. When they saw the baby dolphin circling their boat and coming up to the surface, they noticed that its face was trapped inside a plastic bag. So they quickly jumped into action. They grabbed their net, caught the dolphin, brought it aboard their boat, and removed the plastic that would have undoubtedly caused it to die a slow and painful death. They then quickly put the dolphin back into the water. When it was set free, it didn't just flee the scene quickly. Instead, it showed its thanks for the men's help by jumping up out of the water. Number 6. Lion Kisses and Hugs Rescuer when you see a woman approach the bars of a zoo enclosure and a lion jump up and wrap its arms around her, you might think it's time to call in the rescuers. Surely that lion's gonna get its claws out and maim her, right? Instead, the lion wraps its arms around her neck, snuggles into her, and smooches her. He acts more like a domestic house cat than an aggressive lion. What on earth is going on? While many stories about this video from 2007 were shared all over the internet, only one was true. The lion wasn't brought from the wild and trapped inside a zoo as some people thought. Instead, the abused and malnourished lion had been saved by Ana Julia Torres. <laughs> She took the lion from a traveling circus and brought it to the Via Lorena Animal Shelter in Colombia. The lion's name is Jupiter, and Anna says he's wonderful. According to Anna, he's a feline, but he's also human and living. She said the hug she received from Jupiter in that video was one of the most sincere she has ever received. Is someone cutting onions in here? Number 5. Chimpanzee Thanks Jane Goodall there aren't too many people who haven't heard the name Jane Goodall. She's a famous primatologist and the founder of the Jane Goodall Institute. Jane has dedicated her entire life to animal welfare issues and conservation and has earned an incredible amount of acclaim for 60 years of study into the family and social interactions of wild chimpanzees. We thank her for all she's done, but it seems that the animals she cares for do as well. A video of a chimpanzee hugging her racked up thousands of views, and the story behind 
that hug was as touching as the footage itself. The chimpanzee in the video was named Wunda, which in the Congo means close to dying. And Wunda really was. Wunda was losing weight quickly and suffered from many different illnesses. So the Jane Goodall Institute's Chimpunga Chimpanzee Rehabilitation Center took her in and nursed her back to health. It took several years of care, but she was finally strong enough and healthy enough to go back into the wild. The video footage was taken from the moment Wunda was driven to her new home near the Kuilu River, a sanctuary site on Chinzulu Island. As Wunda was released from her crate at the sanctuary site, she took in her new surroundings, scampered around, then turned and hugged Jane in an embrace that lasted for several minutes. Wunda then wandered off into the undergrowth to start her new life. Number 4. Owl Excited to See Rescuer the chances of birds surviving encounters with vehicles are low. Our cars travel at incredible speeds, and flesh and bone colliding with steel normally ends in immediate death. But that wasn't the case for the great horned owl, Gigi although it was touch and go. Gigi arrived at Wild at Heart Rescue in Mississippi after experiencing significant head trauma, likely after a collision with a car. According to rescue founder Missy Dubison, the fact the owl was alive was beyond comprehension. She said it was one of the most critical they had ever taken care of, and Gigi required extensive long-term care. Even then, it wasn't known if she would survive. However, their very own Birds of Prey whisperer, Douglas Pajecki, took the bird under his wing. Missy said she had never seen someone form such a bond with Birds of Prey as Douglas did with them. Gigi trusted Doug completely, and the pair were inseparable as she recovered from her head injury. That became even more obvious when Doug went away for a while to visit his family in Michigan. When he returned, Gigi was overcome with excitement. She danced around and then rested her head on his shoulder and hugged him. According to Missy, it brings a tear to her eye to watch Doug interact with the birds. She said they know and trust him, and it's trust that you can see in Gigi's face. Number 3. Brazilian Soldier Saves Jaguar Jaguar populations have been declining since the late 1990s, mainly because of habitat loss, poaching, and habitat fragmentation. So when you're given an opportunity to save one, wouldn't you try? In 2016, a now famous photo was taken by Brazilian photographer Non Mangueira showing a Brazilian soldier swimming with a jaguar in the Rio Negro. The jaguar looks entirely content in the arms of the soldier, which is odd given that the average wild jaguar would probably pierce your skull at any opportunity. However, this jaguar, called Jikitaya, was different. The army actually adopted it after hunters killed his mother. They decided to raise the cub and took him swimming every day. In that famous photo, Jikitaya was just two years old. Now, Jikitaya plays a core part in their mission to promote the preservation of the species. The military command of the Amazon, which is a branch of the Brazilian army, set up the jaguars in the Amazon project. They understand just how important the Amazon is to Jaguar's survival in the wild. Strangely, you might have seen other stories accompanying this image online. Some people have used the photo and said it was a nine-year-old jaguar called Juma who was shot dead by a soldier. Others have used it with information about wildfires burning in Brazil. These stories are both inaccurate. Number 2. Nora the Rescue Dog Reunited with Her Daughter in Manitoba, Canada, a lovely family rescued a 10-month-old puppy, Nora, from a backyard breeder. She was miserable, malnourished, and pregnant, but they didn't think twice about taking her. She immediately formed a bond with their children, and in particular, their newborn son. Nora cared for their son from the moment he was born as if she was his mother. Nora gave birth to her own puppies while in their care, and all were fortunately adopted out to good families. However, seven years later, the family of one was moving overseas and couldn't take Nora's daughter Remington with them. Remington ended up in a shelter, and the family was called to see if they wanted to take her on. After all, they had her mother. Even though they had their hands full with three dogs, a cat, and children, they didn't hesitate. Nora immediately recognized her daughter, and the pair were reunited like long-lost lovers. Nora was a timid, quiet dog, but she was immediately out of her shell with her daughter. Now, both dogs are living their best lives with this family, who understand the importance of rescuing animals and giving them the best chance at life. Number 1. Thankful Koala Holds Rescuer's Hand 
If we can feel the heat, so can the animals. That's why most people know how important it is to provide their pets with shelter and water when temperatures skyrocket. But how are wild animals supposed to get relief? When temperatures peaked at over 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit in Adelaide, Australia, animals suffered as much as the people. So when a man saw a koala struggling, he encouraged it to drink out of a sink of water that had been set up to keep animals as hydrated as possible. However, the koala likely didn't know what it was supposed to do since they mostly get water from dew and moisture on leaves. When it sees the man's water bottle, it clearly has an idea of what it wants. He starts giving it water directly from his bottle, and it holds the man's hand while it drinks. While the man was doing a good deed, it's important to note that what he did actually isn't recommended. Sure, the koala is thirsty, but giving them water from a drink bottle can actually kill them. In one situation, a koala called Arnie survived minor burns from a fire, but then died after drinking water from a bottle. A volume as small as 10 milliliters can be aspirated, meaning it goes into their lungs rather than their esophagus. Instead, the best way to give water to koalas is by cupping it in your hands or putting it in a bowl so that they can lap it up. You can also use a small syringe to provide them with small, even amounts. Most of us can't help but want to save animals if we see them in trouble. Sometimes we are their last hope and they might die without intervention. Have you ever rescued an animal? We'd love to hear your story in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!